Hey, everybody, this is a sneak peek into our next episode. Make sure you listen to the whole show next week. Thanks. We are three friends exploring connection from the coffee shop to the podcast studio. I'm Amy. I'm Anna. I'm Aaron. How about aging? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I make this Let's joke. All, I make this joke all the time, and and I, that like, well, I don't really have any. <laughs> the question. So the question is, Aaron, how do you feel about right. aging? <laughs> and I make this joke all the time that people uh, have issues with getting older because they were super attractive when they were younger and I don't fucking, I don't care about it because I was never that hot in the first place and then people always feel the need to be like no 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 and I'm like I no I really believe that like I, it's not like it's not like I'm I think that I'm like hideous I'm just I, I look yeah. like this when I was 18 years old and I look older now because yeah. I have wrinkles but then I I, I don't care yeah. and it's like, like I'm, I really, I, I'm yes. more comfortable in that yeah. and it's yeah. not like an insecurity I'm not saying this yeah. to be validated yeah. like, right I really I, that is a true statement like Right. I don't give a fuck because right. I was not hot in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for all you people that were hot. So You're aging, screwed. bring it on. Yeah, bring yeah. it on. I'm not yeah. as dumb as I used to be. That's why I think about yeah. aging. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was dumb yeah. shit before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't really have a big deal with aging. I really liked turning 40 and now I'm 41 and, and I really feel like I welcomed 40 with <laughs> wide open arms mm -hmm. and i think it has a lot to do with like just personal growth and personal work that i've yeah. done probably in my 30s mm -hmm. to get me to where i am now but yes honestly i feel grateful to be older yeah I always feel like, yeah. oh, it's hard. So I used to be hot. Erin <laughs> <laughs> left out the part that she's usually telling me that. <laughs> when I'm like, oh, I love Botox. <laughs> like, oh, give me I'll all the Botox. Touch. Give me all the Botox. Yep. Thank you very much. But yeah, it's hard getting older and like my physical body changing and being like oh, I used to be kind of huh and now not so much <laughs> like, I don't feel like that you know like just the people's reaction to you too is mm -hmm. really different or it's the same <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's like yeah I feel super grateful to have the honor of aging like when I'm in a good place with it that's where I come at it from because I had this hairstylist that was wonderful and she died from cancer and i'm like she would oh. love to be alive right now and like it happened and like a year later she was gone and mm -hmm. you know i think about her a lot and like how she would do anything i'm sure to be here right now and so many people and mm -hmm. it's like to right. be able to get to age to to feel bad about myself just kidding <laughs> to like just like experience life and all of its ups and downs that is really truly such an honor to be able to be present for my son and like that's partially why i feel the need to take such good care of yeah. the what i eat and how i move because i want a good quality of life i mean obviously right. if i get some sort of illness or whatever that you can't but like the things that i can control then mm -hmm. yeah. that's what i want to be able to do that so like that mm -hmm. having the quality of life that i want as i age mm -hmm. that your know, brain is still intact like yeah. my bike still like move my body yeah like that because i when i was in grad school we did i took a family therapy like that was one of my classes and so we did a genogram which mm -hmm. is just like the map of the family and one of the things i realized was that everybody in my family that has died before me had heart disease and something oh. else mm. and so oh, it was super yes um my grandfather has now died and i don't think that he had heart disease but i could be wrong but anyways but the but the uh, realizing that and then i saw that forks over knives documentary yes. and i was like oh i can prevent like yes. i can do something about this and i'm not yeah. gonna have yeah yeah then that's why i mostly eat like that because my cholesterol was high when i was younger and i'm like nah and then we could do something it's great mm -hmm. right so i right. think that's also about aging yeah. stuff yes yeah i really wish i would have not been so into the tanning beds <laughs> <laughs> in high school <laughs> so, we lived a really different oh, life oh man that was <laughs> bad we lived a really different Baby life yes. oh, we lived boy. a different life we lived a very different life <laughs> that is hilarious yeah. uh -huh. and here we are and here we, we come are. together <laughs> podcasting <laughs> If you like us, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to leave a review. It helps other people find us and could be just what they need. 